Welcome out as we're sitting down talking with TJ Coulter and head coach Dwayne Salisbury from the men's basketball team. Guys, big win today just to bounce back after the loss yesterday. Coach, talk a little bit about what you saw from the team. You know, not a lot of fight the first half, and then the second half we showed that's the team that we recruited. You know, we came out, we fought, we held them to, uh, I think, 38% overall, something something along those lines, and then, but I think it was 32 points in the second half. Is that what it was? So, mm -hmm. you know, it was. It showed that we had a lot of fight in us. We got to get better. Um, you know, we got to stop having those. Like I told you before, these these highs and lows are our lows are really low. So we've. Uh, we got to figure out a way to not not let those lows be that low, but you know we made some big shots. Um, we got stops, and that's what I've been preaching, you know, to these guys from day one: is get stops, get stops, get stops. And they looked like we looked last night. They looked shook at the end, uh, 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 unsure of themselves, and that's what happens when you have freshmen. He's got some freshmen, but he's got some. He's got a really good team over there. TJ, you and the guys went on a 31 to three run at one point in time. When you talk about those highs, I mean that's something pretty special to be out there in general. But when when you talk about the three that you had to tie it, did you kind of feel momentum just switched over to you guys at that moment? Yes, yeah, sir. Most definitely, I felt like the tide switched and we had the momentum at that point because all of our energy, even the bench, we were getting hype, we were getting loud, and even the crowd. You could tell the difference in between the first half and the second half after I hit that shot. You guys were trying to put up threes in that first half. They just kind of weren't falling for you guys. Is the confidence always going to be there, though, for this group? Is that something the coaches have instilled in you guys to yeah, shoot no matter they what? They instill us if we're open, take the shot, make or miss, just keep shooting, it'll fall eventually. Coach, talking about the defensive side for you guys, that was what really keyed that big run, is, is you guys got a couple of stops that, that you weren't making busc buckets on the other side of the stop until mm -hmm. we got the stops. Is, is that something that you look to, to to start those runs? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I tell these guys all the time, it's got nothing to do with the offensive end of the, uh, of the basketball court. If you, can, if you can stop them, it doesn't matter what you score. And, you know, that, that first half is just – we could not get it done, you know, and I think we were just too tight, you know, uh, scared to make a mistake. When you lose that first game at home and you start worrying, you know, you start worrying about, oh, are we going to be able to get a win here? So it was, I think it was one of those things, too, for these freshmen to see, okay, we can win a college basketball game. You know, I've been telling these guys it's hard to win a college basketball game. So, you know, I think it's just a little bit of nerves and things like that. Hopefully uh, we loosen up. we got to go on the road next. TJ, on your side of things, you've been kind of one of the stead, steady starters getting out there alongside of DB and Phoenix when it comes to the guard side of things. How's the chemistry been between you three as far as kind of sharing the role when you know the three of you are going to be on the court the most right now? It's been really good so far. They tend to share the ball a lot and find me when I'm open, but they also go get a bucket if they need to. So it's been really good. We'll wrap it up just going on. Uh, Coach, big road trips for you guys mm -hmm. obviously coming up. You also got Eastern Arizona coming in this yeah. month. You, you always do a tough road schedule mm -hmm. or a tough November schedule and December schedule. But what are you looking forward to about this road trip and, and the guys getting to finally go on the road with each other for some overnight stuff? Yeah, just, just to compete. You know, we got to go to Western Nebraska next, I think it is. And that's going to be a fun game for me. Uh, you know, uh, having uh, my former assistant being the head coach at uh, Western Nebraska. So me and him will be talking some trash to each other, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, love, that's going to be good. That's always an overtime game. I think it's been an overtime game at their place the last two or three years. And uh, uh, so I'm expecting a good game. You talk about Eastern Arizona, and then we got, uh, we got Salt Lake. So uh, it, we're going to have to challenge. It's going to be challenging. So you ask what I'm looking for. We just got to compete and see what happens. Coach, thanks for the time. TJ, congratulations on getting the, 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 the rust off this weekend for you and getting your first debuts on the college level. Thanks. Looking forward to seeing what both of you guys can, what you can do as a coach with this group of guys and what he can do for you out on the court. Thank you so much.